this event is the, um, um, the, the launch of the, the, the Drug Discovery and Development Center, um, which we're extremely delighted and, and very excited about, uh, because I think it's, it's uh, unprecedented in the, uh, not just in the South African context, uh, but also in the African context. Uh, and it's happening on the, the 7th of April, um, uh, 2011. So uh, our main funders for, um, for, for this program that really catalyzed uh, the establishment of this uh, drug discovery development center have been um, Medicines for Malaria Venture, uh, who are based in, uh, in Geneva in Switzerland, uh, who have been a very significant partner uh, supporting a significant program in our laboratories to discover the next generation of antiviral drugs. And, um, and the partnership uh, with the previously Cape Biotech Trust which has now been uh, incorporated into the Technology Innovation Agency, which is a South African government um, uh, institution to uh, foster innovation um, and move products uh, closer to commercialization, who are very critical in funding us to set up some of the key missing technologies that uh, this country, South Africa, has not had, or Africa for that matter. And then, of course, more recently, uh, we've had uh, um, significant funding from the, the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation uh, in partnership with uh, Grand Challenges Canada and the Canadian Institute of Health Research uh, uh, for us to work on the discovery of uh, drugs that could be used in uh, treating in parasitic worms. And so these three partners have been quite um, significant partners to get us um, a, a head start uh, in this program. Historically, this continent um, you know, has the highest disease burden, um, and I think it's vitally important and crucial for, for Africans uh, to, to um, basically find their own solutions to their own health problems. Um, and historically, the, the, the ability to, to find um, medicines uh, in Africa has been really hampered by uh, a lack of um, appropriate expertise um, and infrastructure uh, to facilitate the, the search for, uh, uh, for new medicines. Um, and so the, the, at this particular point in, uh, in the history of the continent, um, uh, not just b because of the, the heavy disease burden, um, that we have a challenge, um, uh, if I use South Africa as an example, uh, where this country has uh, two extremes. Um, if you look at the, the good institutions in this country are uh, very good at doing basic research, uh, and that's one extreme. The other extreme is actually looking at um, clinical studies. Um, you find drugs that are discovered elsewhere that actually get tested uh, and developed in the clinic uh, in this country. So we have these two extremes uh, of doing basic research uh, and doing clinical studies. But what has lacked, and this is true about the entire continent of Africa, uh, is actually something that bridges this uh, gap uh, to, to allow um, the development of a value chain um, to be able to translate the basic science uh, uh, into, into products. Uh, and, and so this drug discovery uh, center that we, um, uh, we're launching uh, on the 7th of April is basically aimed at um, bridging the gap between the basic sciences and the clinical sciences and actually training a new generation of, of, of African scientists in, in the modern uh, tools of, of conducting uh, drug discovery, recognizing the, the value chain that needs to be um, uh, fulfilled. On one extreme, people tend to associate um, Africa with uh, infectious diseases, uh, exemplified by uh, malaria and tuberculosis. Um, but actually, um, these are not by any means the only uh, disease burden that, that we have. I mean, if you look at the, the lifestyles of Africans these days, um, the African of 30 years ago uh, is not the same African today in terms of uh, you know, our diet, uh, our food. Um, and so you find, for example, um, you know, cardiovascular disease and hypertension uh, is a very serious uh, problem. I mean, it's a silent killer. Um, and a lot of the focus is, is on infectious diseases. Um, so this center actually um, would not just be about infectious diseases, which of course will be a major focus of this as well, 
uh, but also it will focus on other non-communicable diseases like cardiovascular disease, um, hypertension, uh, and, and cancer, certain types of cancers as well. So Absolutely, um, and I think that the recognition um, uh, in terms of uh, the, the groundwork that went into uh, creating this center is basically, first of all, recognizing the value chain that, that is there from the moment one discovers a drug through to translation development through to the clinical trials. Uh, and then we set about to really put in place uh, uh, key technology platforms that will allow us to move projects along this value chain. And therefore, what we're looking at is actually um, um, making a very important contribution as far as possible along the value chain so that at an appropriate uh, point, uh, we can actually partner with, um, uh, for example, pharmaceutical companies that actually would be interested in, uh, in partnering with us uh, once we've added significant value to, uh, to a product. Um, and the problem, I think, is that the, a lot of the research that has happened in Africa before uh, is that people don't really add enough value to, to the programs to make it attractive for partners to be interested in you know, partnering to go forward. Because um, drug discovery is not um, a discipline that you can tackle uh, just with one expertise or an individual. This is a true partnership that we bring together different disciplines and expertise that allow projects to, to move forward. Uh, and so even in the Western pharmaceutical industries in the US or Europe, um, you know, companies do not do everything by themselves. Even with their you know, tons of money at their disposal, they do not do everything from discovery to the clinic. They look for partnerships where they outsource certain activities uh, so that they can focus on some of the core business that they have in the company. So we're looking at really adding substantial value uh, to uh, drug discovery programs so that um, we can deliver uh, drug candidates are ready uh, for testing in humans. So that's as far as we would like to go uh, in this venture. By adding value to the drug discovery, um, um, I precisely mean that we deliver um, potential drug candidates with the kind of um, a profile, um, target product profile, where uh, the drug is basically uh, deemed to be safe to enter first time in human. Um, so have all the right properties, uh, not just from the point of view of efficacy, uh, treating the infection in appropriate animal models, but also having the right you know, safety profile so that they think the drug can be tested in humans. So in a nutshell, by adding value is uh, to imply that we, we would generate products along the value chain to a point where we deliver drug candidates that are not only efficacious, but also are safe um, and ready for testing um, first time in humans.